Hi everyone, welcome back to Fit Mom Mia. Can you do a pull up? If the answer is no, that's okay. That's what this video is for today. I have three different exercises that will help you to build strength in order to do a pull up. Now, pull ups can be a difficult exercise if you're not used to pulling your body weight. So these three exercises that I have for you today will help to build your strength and um, really work on those pull-ups for you. So the first thing I have here is a bar. Now you can, if you're at the gym, you can use the Smith machine, that's totally fine. I obviously don't have one in my house. So I just put a regular um, barbell here on the squat rack, on the hooks. And what I'm going to do next is get right underneath it like so. Stick my legs out. Make sure that my head and neutral spine so you don't want to sag your butt or do this, which that's pretty difficult to do anyway. So you wanna be nice and straight and just pull yourself up. All right, good, nice job. So you can also lower the bar if you needed to. I just wanted to um, make this video for demonstration purposes, but definitely you can lower the bar a little bit more. So down here maybe. Um, when I actually do the workout, I'm going to have my bar lower. So of course the higher up you go, it's going to be the higher that you have to pull yourself up. Obviously, the lower you are, the lower that you pull yourself up. So I'll just show you a difference from where I had it before. And this gives you a good workout too. So don't think just because you're not actually up here that you won't get a good workout. Trust me, you will. It's still difficult. All right, so I'm down here now. Just gonna move the weights out of my way and then pull. Now, if you are someone that still says, yeah, this is too hard, you can always try bending your knees where you're here. Um, and then also try underhand grip. So I did an overhead, overhand I should say, and then you could do underhand too. Now to be honest with you, the underhand grip is a little bit more difficult in that position. So um, when you do other back exercises, like a row, underhand grip is a little bit easier in the over hand grip is harder but when it comes to the pull-ups I would stick to the overhand all right so the next exercise that I have I'm gonna take the bar and put it down just find a place on the floor it's fine and then you could get like a box I'm gonna use my stepper for today because my box is too high This next exercise that I will do is called pull-up negatives. Now, with this exercise, I used to do this, I would say, when I first, first, first started to do like weightlifting of any sort. I know this is more calisthenic workout, but I'm just saying in general, when I started, I was doing that when I started weightlifting and I used to throw in pull-ups into my routine because my whole goal was just to be strong. So that's what I would do. And I couldn't actually do a pull-up successfully. So I always did the negatives. So I'm going to use these hand grippers, which I can have the link down below. I got them from Amazon. I believe they were like $20. No, actually, just kidding. They were 12 because it was Prime Day. All right. 
but they're really good for gripping. And especially when you have bars like this, these little cheap bars, they don't have any type of rubber coating. So when your hands get sweaty, you start slipping. That's why I don't like these bars. Typically at the gym, they have the rubber um, casing over it, but sometimes it may not. It just really depends what gym you go to and all that stuff. Um, of course, chalk will help as well, but I don't use chalk in here because I don't feel like cleaning it. So. I'm just using these grips. So for this, how you want to start is, let me move that out the way first. So you're on the stepper, right? So typically what I would do is I would jump up, hold, and come down really slow. Good that will count as one. So these are called pull-up negatives. Good, this will give you that arm strength or the back strength that you need. Don't underestimate these because these are hard too, but they will help you. All right, so that's the second exercise that you will be doing. The next one is an actual pull-up, but using a band. So you're just going to take one of these bands, wrap it around your bar, like so. All right, you take one of your feet here, put them through the bands, all right? So you're like this, don't put both feet through. I mean, you can do um, both of your knees if you would like, I always do one foot. Whatever works. And then you'll wrap around and pull. So the whole point of the band is that it helps give you a little spring back up. These are called assisted pull-ups. Now, similar to the gym, they'll have that machine that you'll put your knees on. It's either you put your knees on or you stand on and you pull yourself up, but you use the weights to give you that resist, like the, um, that push back up. It's like that spring. So when you're using the band, if you don't have that machine at home, you can always use the band and it'll help spring you back up. So those were the three exercises to do pull-ups. Remember, try to incorporate them in your workout routine at least like maybe two to three times a week if you really wanna get good at it. It all depends what your goals are and what you're trying to accomplish. But I know for me personally, I need some better upper body strength. So I like to practice throughout the week my pull-ups. Let me know if you have any questions or any comments, just drop them down below. Until next time, bye.